Natalie Kalmas Television presents Club Celebrity, starring Greg Mitchell with Harry Von Zell, Jill Richards, Betty Bly, Hank Hope, the Tune Tailors, Dick Peterson's Orchestra, and tonight's guest star, Gloria DeHaven. <laughs> Wanted to see me, Mr. Bonzel? Oh, yes, Hank. There are some things I want to talk to you about. It's only me. Listen, don't ever do that again. Supposing it hadn't have been you. <laughs> Boy, what a take you gave this thing. Say, that's great. I'm going to use that to open my act with tonight. <laughs> back to the kitchen. Yes, back to the kitchen. Wait a minute here. Now, Hank, you've been with the club, what, about a week now, haven't you? In a way, yes, sir. Well, I've got just a few complaints here from customers. Just a few. I seem to be making quite an impression. Yes, well, that would be putting it mildly. Can you explain to me, for instance, why you persisted in banging Mr. Stapleton over the head with your tray the other night? Oh, that, Mr. Von Zell, was a most unfortunate eventuality. Oh, indeed, indeed it was. Mr. Stapleton is threatening to sue. Let him sue. He has no case at all. Here, let me show you how it all happened. Look, you be Mr. Stapleton, and you're sitting right here. And Mr. Stapleton is over here. Oh, wait a minute. There. Now, you look like Mr. Stapleton. And Mr. Stapleton is sitting over here. Now, I'm serving them with my usual excellent club celebrity style. It was a very busy night, you know. Okay. Now, I come in with a tray full of food. I've got a lot of orders, and you must admit that not even a genius can remember everything. But I know that I've got roast beef for this, uh, for Mr. Stapleton. So I've got that shoved over here. Oops. I almost did it again. Anyway, I turn to Mr. Stapleton, and I say very nicely, what was your order, please, madam? And she looks up and says kind of sharp like, duck, I duck. Oh, you have to admit that Stapleton has no case at all. If she hadn't told me to duck, I... Oh, she meant she ordered... Yes, she ordered duck. Hmm. Back to the kitchen. Yes, back to the kitchen. And Hank, for the last time, will you remember now to keep your mind on your business? Treat the customers with courtesy and politeness. Now, you go out and tell Mr. Mitchell that you're staying on tonight and, and pay attention. I give up. Look at this mess. Isn't that awful? It's a good thing that there are some things in life to make up for these little aggravations. Like this lovely thing here. No aggravation here with this Natalie Kalmus 2020 television set. Perfect vision. Clear, sharp, and delightful, and dependable. Comes in a terrific range of models, too, all designed especially by J.A. Richmond, one of the world's finest designers of furniture. So it'll fit in your house no matter what kind of furnishings you have, and don't worry about the cost. It'll run under $400, but think what it affords you in pleasure and convenience and sheer enjoyment, around $2 million a week worth of entertainment right in your living room, including baseball, boxing, wrestling, football. Tomorrow night over this station, you'll see the Rams game. And no better way to see it than on the Natalie Kalmus Home Television Theater. You think it over. I think that's very worthwhile thinking about. I think we'd better get the show on, too. Why don't you come out? I think you'll enjoy yourself tonight. Thank 
you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I see Dick Peterson and the uh, club celebrity Little Symphony have you tripping the light fantastic and in general enjoying yourselves. That's what we like to see. We want to extend you a hearty greeting on behalf of club celebrity, those of you who are regular patrons. I see many of you here. And a particular welcome for those of you who are newcomers to club celebrity. You get me, I'm beginning to talk like an ambassador. Maybe I ought to run for Congress, I don't know. <laughs> Congress has a lot of people running these days, you know, and they're catching a few too, which is encouraging. <laughs> no, don't laugh, just throw money. We can use it all over. The I know you're anxious for us to get the floor show started. It's always a pleasure to introduce the singing sensation of the year, the star of our show here at Club Celebrity. He has a top song right from the top of the hit parade tonight. Here is your top of the hit parade, Greg Mitchell, Counting Every Star. Greg? Every star in the midnight sky Count every rose, every firefly For that's how many times I miss you Heaven knows I miss you Count every leaf On a willow tree Count every wave On a stormy sea Count every star And darling when you do You'll know the times I have cried In the midnight sky Count every rose Every firefly For that's how many times I miss you Heaven knows I miss you Count every leaf On a willow Count every rose and you see Count every star and darling when you do You'll know the times I have cried for you Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Greg, for your wonderful applause. I hope you've saved some for your favorite singing group, the Toon Tailors. Here they are with All God's Children Got Rhythm. 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 Oh, rhythm is a thing that God. makes you want to sing and go. 
children, for God's children, God swing, for God's children, God swing. Yeah. Boys and girls certainly do have their share of rhythm, don't they? And so, by the way, does the young artist I take great pleasure in presenting, charming young lady, Miss Betty Bly. The sun contains a ray. They label vitamin D. If you like vitamin D, that's quite all right with me. But I am here to say, that I like vitamin love, but I can't get vitamin love with that doggone sun above. I don't care if the sun don't shine, I get my loving in the evening time when I'm with my baby. It's no fun with the sun around, but I get Thing, madam. We'll take care of this very scientifically. Plate! Dad, the secret of my blouse! Oh, shiny spaghetti. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. What is he doing now? I don't know. He seems to have some kind of a problem. Oh, he has a problem. Now, listen, Greg, you tell him to bring his problem into my office right away, will You're you? All right, now, just relax. Don't worry about it. Hey. Well, that's the finish. I should have let him go ahead and be a comedian. At this rate, we'll all be destroyed. We'll have no club, no business, no nothing. Oh, there you are. Mr. Mitchell said to bring you my problem. Yes. What is that? My problem. That looks like a girl's... Hank, you didn't. Well, now listen, I'm going to tell you... Uh, you better not listen to this. It may get very vulgar. Uh, Carl Prinzi, entertain the folks for a minute, will you? Now, let me tell you. Here are some of the 1951 Natalie Kalmas home television theaters. The set with a future because it's designed for the future. Among the many features of the 1951 Natalie Kalmus is the split face type chassis, a feature that guarantees a clear image and perfect sound reception. The Natalie Kalmus is truly an achievement in styling and performance and is a functional piece of furniture you'll be proud to have in your home. There are 12 different consoles to choose from, all designed by J.A. Richmond, famous furniture designer. Prices begin at under $400 for the 16 inch model. See your local television dealer tomorrow and ask him to show you the new Natalie Kalmus television theater and we're sure you'll agree that when you buy a Natalie Kalmus, you buy the finest television set. If your dealer hasn't got the model you desire, be patient as he'll get it as soon as possible. Oh, Mr. Von Zell, what you said. Yes, and I meant every word of it. Huh? I said I, I meant every word of it. All of them? Yes, all of them. Now, Greg and Jill are on with their number, and I don't want to miss it. Let me get out there. Mr. Von Zell. What? No hard feeling. <laughs> no. 
No hard feelings. Come on, now. Get on. <laughs> yes, Mr. Brown, we'll take care of that stock deal right away. Take a letter, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Oh, you're typing better, Miss Smith. You know best, sir. Why don't you move over here? But I can hear you from here. <clears throat> Back to business, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Just write to uh, my dear Mr. Brown. Got it. Say, uh, what's his address in town? I forgot it. Why, that's a lovely perfume. They call it two in a room. <clears throat> Back to business, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Just write to uh, my dear Mr. Brown in regard to that stuff. Gee, Miss Smith, you're awfully pretty. Uh, dear Mr. Brown, in regard to that stock. Hey, boss, you can call me Smitty. Oh, you're getting thinner, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Say, how about some dinner, Miss Smith? You know best, sir. I'll pick you up about eight. I promise not to be late. And then we'll leave the rest to fate. <sighs> yes, sir. Well, good morning, Miss Smith. Oh, hiya, boss. Why are you yawning, Miss Smith? You know why, Bob. Well, that was a wonderful show. You hung around until four. <clears throat> Back to business, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Just uh, write this, my dear Mr. Brown. Right, Bob. We really covered the town. Oh, what a night, Bob. I love that wonderful show. I like the very last row. Back to business, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Just right, my dear Mr. Brown, in regard to that stuff. Gee, Smitty, your eyes are gleaming. Oh, but dear Mr. Brown, in regard to that stock. Gee, boss, I was only dreaming. You're getting tired, Miss Smith. Oh, yes, sir. Well, then you're fired, Miss Smith. You know best, sir. But I would like to know why. We're getting married, you and I. Tell me, what is your reply? Oh, yes, sir. Do I need book and pencil, too? All I'll ever need is you. You've taken your very last letter, Miss Smith. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I saw the picture, Gloria. It was really a beauty. But you have a newer one that is just about to be released, haven't you? That's right, Harry. What is it? It's called I'll Get By. It's with June Haver and Bill Lundigan. Out at Fox? Uh-huh. How soon do you think it'll get out? Well, I think in about September. Oh, wonderful. I'm anxious to see it. Say, I see everybody's looking at us here. Do you suppose you do a couple of numbers? Why, yes, I'd love to. Good. I'll have Greg put you right on. Say, Greg. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, one of those rare treats that are now a custom here at Club Celebrity, I'd like to present tonight's guest artist. So will you all join me in presenting the charming Miss Gloria De Haven.
you to meet a really wonderful guy and a great pianist, Mr. Hal Schaefer. some refreshment for Mr. Haven, and will you be careful, please? Oh, oh you can depend on me, Mr. Bond. Well, I hope so. Look out. Thank you, Gloria. As I said, it was wonderful. Yeah. Such a wonderful audience here at the club. Yes, we have. By the way, have you uh, signed our guest book yet? No, I haven't. Well, what is this? This is the Natalie Kelmus NK2020 television set, product of Natalie Kelmus, who alone stands for the ultimate in color perfection of motion pictures, now lends the same quality to her television sets. Here are more models of the 1951 Natalie Kelmus home television theater, designed by J.A. Richmond, nationally famous furniture designer. The Natalie Kelmus comes in 12 different styles, including the full combination radio and phonograph that will play records for 10 continuous hours and plays long-playing symphony records on both sides without turning the record over. Prices for the Natalie Kelmus Home Television Theater begin at under $400 for a 16-inch console. Another feature of the Natalie Kelmus is the magnet-controlled doors that open and close by gently touching them. In addition to the style and special features that make the Natalie Kelmus the most beautiful and practical television set is the split-phase type chassis, a feature that guarantees a perfect image. When you buy television, buy a set that's designed for the future. Buy the Natalie Kalmus Home Television Theater, and you buy the finest television set. Ask your television dealer tomorrow to show you the 1951 Natalie Kalmus Home Television Theater. Interesting, don't you think? Very huh? interesting. <laughs> Wonderful. Not great? Uh -huh. Say, uh, well, here we are, Mr. Bonzel, one of club celebrities' very best for Mr. Haven. Oh, Good. thank you so oh, much. Oh, Mr. Haven, your, your singing was, was out of this world. Oh, hey, hey, watch that. <laughs> great gag. <laughs> really had you fooled, huh? Yes. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. Mr. Haven, really at heart, I'm, I'm really a comedian. Yes, I know. <laughs> Back to Ha, ha, ha. 
What a character. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, Hank. You can't get mad at him, you know. He's full of the dickens all the time. No, as a matter of fact, I think he's very cute. You ought to let him out of the kitchen once in a while. He might surprise you. Surprise me? Believe me, he's surprised me plenty already. Say we have a swell surprise at the club next week. You think you can get in, Gloria? Oh, I know about that. In fact, Marilyn herself told me Marilyn Maxwell's coming next week. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's right. She's uh -huh. made a reservation already. I know. We really do want you to come. If you can. I'm yeah. certainly going to try. Say, yeah. incidentally, Gloria, are you going? You're going to be at the bowl on the 25th for that big uh, benefit Bob's running over. I there. wouldn't miss it. See, Bob Hope. I guess every star in the business. Greg is going over. Sure. Really? Going over. Oh, sure. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I think probably everybody that can get there will be there. See? I know I will be. August 25th That's for the right. Cere Cerebral Palsy mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't say it, but I know it's a good call. <laughs> it is. But <laughs> well, you think you'll get over next week, then? Definitely. Positive. You know, I'm not going to take a chance. You're here now. How about a dance? Well, I'd love it. Good. I always do. <laughs> I thought of it first. <laughs> I wonder if the guy who wrote this thing knew what he was talking about. Let's see. Source references, ancient Greek history. Oh, oh there you are. Say, you won't forget to make your reservations for next week, will you? Marilyn Maxwell is going to be here. And of course, uh, that great comedian, Hank Hope. <laughs> back to the kitchen. <laughs> yes, that great comedian Hank Hope will be here next week, too. I hope you can come, huh, Greg? Right. Good night, folks. Good night. Reservation next week for Marilyn Maxwell. Club Celebrity was produced by Kenneth Hertz and Monty Cook. Directed by John B. Lyman and William Asher. Music is conducted by Dick Peterson, musical arrangements by Marty Page, and vocal arrangements by Bill Brown. Technical director is Ross Miller, settings by Howard Johnson and Joseph Tishner. Created especially for Gloria De Haven, Betty Bly, and Jill Richards, were gowns by Howard Shoup, jewelry by Trey Burton Hafer, and hairstyling by House of Frank and Joseph. Club Celebrity reminds you to attend the great show at Hollywood Bowl on Friday night, August 25th, for the benefit of cerebral palsied children, with Bob Hope as your MC. And this is Carl Princey inviting you to be our guests next week at the same time and station. Club Celebrity is a United Television Artists production. <laughs>